Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session now we are going to discuss about the regular expressions and flow anomaly detection on the path testing. Okay, so normally the generic flow anomaly detection problem is defined as uh, the set of the sequence of options whatever we have given that considering all the paths through a routine. Okay, here we have to use some set of the operations set and reset. The set and reset operations can be denoted by small s and as well as the small r. Okay, and we want to know if there is a set followed by immediately a set or a reset followed by immediately reset. Like uh, we can denote these operations as SSR or RR sequence. Okay, so the regular expressions can be represented in the flow anomaly detection by using the set and reset operations. Next, we will see, we will understand by watching this particular example actually. Okay, here A, B, C are defined as non-empty sets of character sequences whose smallest string is at least one character string. Okay, let T be the two character string of the characters. Here, what are defined things are A, B and C and T. Okay. Then if T is a substring, it will appear in A, B to the power of N, C. Then T also will appear in A, B square C according to the Hong's theorem. According to the Hong's theorem, what it is saying is, if T is a substring, it appears in A, B to the power of N, C. Then T will appear in A, B square C. Okay, let us see, let us understand this theorem with the help of one example that is A is given as PP and B is given as SRR and C is given as RP and T is given as SS. Then the theorem states that SS will appear in PP where A is the PP and B is SRR, SRR to the power N and C is RP. If it appears in PP SRR square RP. What it is we have done here simply we have substituted the values of A, B, C and S and T in this particular statement. Okay. This is according to the Hong's theorem. Okay. So what is S here? What is R here? Here S is nothing but the set. R is nothing but reset. Okay. Next, what are the limitations for this? Normally, we are having uh, some set of the limitations. And what is the P here? P is nothing but a path. What are the limitations here? According to the Hyung's theorem, it can easily generalize it to cover sequence of greater length of two characters. Greater length than two characters. Okay. So, we, whenever we are having a greater than two characters string length, it can easily cover. Beyond the three characters, though the things get complex. Whenever it exceeds three, then it becomes more complex. And this method has probably reached to utilitarian limit of manual application. That means we cannot utilize it with the manual application whenever it reaches or gre reaches greater than or equal to three. So, up to greater than or equal to three, this will work well, no problem. But whenever as the string or character it exceeds uh, the C cover sequences of the greater length than three characters. That is the limitation of Young's theorem. So that's why we can uh, likewise we can represent the regular expressions and flow anomaly detection by using the set of the operations like uh, set and reset by using the Hong theorem by substituting these operations here. But whenever more three more than three operations or more than three character length, length this will not work. That is the limitation of this. In the coming videos, we talk about the logic based testing of the software testing methodologies. If at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel, Intelligible Tutorials. Thank you one and all.